Yo, listen, dude, listen, listen, listen. I see you eating candy, okay? Stop. I know Halloween just happened, but you need to chill out, dude. Dude, candy is bad for you. You shouldn't eat it. It's a protein bar, okay? Chill out. Fortnite review. Zero out of 10. Uninstall. Just kidding. Let's go. All right, boys, we got a bunch of stuff to cover in this video, which include African and Southeast Asian servers coming back to Fortnite, question mark, question mark. And then we've got a pretty big topic of free edits being disabled, or at least having an option to disable them. I swear, free edits are so annoying, dude. I'm just trying to do my quadruple Marvel edit 360 classics, and then I somehow make pre edits. Like, bro, it is so annoying when that happens. But yeah, they are very likely to be removed very soon. So, of course, I'll cover that topic, but in addition, I'll cover Issa getting signed to an org and then finally Boga's double movement and we will see if he's actually cheating or if he's not cheating and Epic Games themselves actually responded to this but yo you better drop a like right now if you don't all of your candy will turn into broccoli so yo all I'm saying is you better drop a like on this video and of course subscribe if you haven't already with notifications on so you never miss an upload kingcast-yt in the item shop just do it all right all right, so first of all, let's get into the Fortnite, Southeast Asian, and African servers. So a bunch of people like Emad posted, hashtag Fortnite African servers, make it happen, please. And then also he added hashtag Fortnite Southeast Asian servers as well, please, at Fortnite game. No one deserves to play on 200 ping, please. Now, yes, I know it is awful to play on that high ping. And if you do play on that ping, well, holy bro, I don't know how you do it. I get so annoyed on 50 ping myself. I cannot imagine over 100 ping. And if you want to know whether or not they will actually add Southeast Asian and African servers, well, if I'm being completely honest with you, I don't think so. I mean, if you look into how these servers work, you will see that it is not up to Fortnite themselves to implement those servers. They use what is called the Amazon Web Services. So Amazon is who provides those servers to Epic. And Epic cannot simply just add a server where they want. That is not how it works at all. But okay, now let's move on from the topic to disabling pre-edits. We have been asking to disable pre-edits for so, so long. I can't even remember how long it was. But now, once again, we have some more hope. So yes, I realized that nine months ago we asked for this and they actually responded to it. So as you can see in this post right here, where they basically had a Q&A and one of the questions they answered was about pre-edits. And that person asked, a topic that has emerged in the community is building pre-edits. Many of us believe that pre-editing should be an option to toggle on or off. Do you guys have any intent on making a change with pre-edits in the future? And while Epic Games themselves responded, Yes, this is a topic we're actively considering and we'll update you when future plans are firm. So this was all the way in 2019 and well, we haven't seen anything happen until now. So boom shaka laka, we have this brand new Reddit post. And this person said, add for the competitive, how many followers to disable pre-edits? And Steve, a community coordinator responded, we don't have an exact timetable, but we're going to do it. Don't worry about followers. And a wink emoji. Now this is absolutely massive guys. A wink emoji, oh my god guys, this means so much. That was the weirdest voice I've done, what was that? I have no clue, sorry about that, but anyways, now we don't want to get our hopes up, but this actually might happen. Because I mean, if we take a look at what Fortnite has recently done, well they improved so so much with communication and actual updates. It feels like we're not talking to monkeys anymore. We're actually talking to real people now. Like bro, they're listening to us, they're responding to us, and they're communicating to us. It is absolutely amazing to see. I'm pretty sure they got a brand new community manager. I mean bro, an amazing example of this is this tweet right here. They said 1 million followers and we will get Duo Arena in game. No cap. And bro, they did exactly that. They added Duo Arena in game now. Going back to the Reddit post, they're not asking for any followers, which actually might might mean that in season 5, that's right, in season 5, they will have an option to disable pre-edits. Now of course this is not all confirmed or anything at all, but I would not be surprised if they did that. Which by the way, talking about season 5, it actually has been delayed. Before the delay, season 5 was supposed to come out on November 30th, but it has been delayed a few days to December 3rd. That is only 3 days, so it is not bad at all. And honestly, it was very expected to happen. December 3rd is on a Thursday 
which is when Fortnite does their updates. So this completely makes sense. I cannot blame them at all. And no one should be upset about this. But now let's talk about Issa's huge announcement and then let's go over Booga's double movement and if it's cheating or not. So I'm not gonna spend much time on Issa. He just simply dropped this GIF right here, which is getting signed by something or signing something. And take a look, bro. He even edited his own GIF. So it says Issa on it. That is some effort, not gonna lie. But yeah, boys, we don't really know anything about it so far. All we know is that on September 1st, he tweeted, in talk with a few orgs, but still a free agent, looking for an org to represent. And well, finally, he did get signed. Do you guys have any guesses on who? he might join. I don't know, but so we will have to wait and see on what happens. But now let's take a look at the Booga's situation and why so many pros are mad at him. So if you guys did not know, Booga modified his keyboard to use double movement binds much easier. So basically what he did is he took his keyboard and taped a piece of cardboard on it so he can click two buttons at once basically. Just take a look at him explaining it. You guys see this? All right. You see this thingy on my cap sock in A? This is like a... Okay. It's like plastic and I tape duct tape to it on caps lock and A. And it's it's called working wait, what is it? I'm working smarter. But anyways, so okay, so that's the only one I use. So I do this on A and Caps Lock. And pretty much what you can do if you don't have something like that, I mean you can cut out cardboard. You can cut out cardboard. How do you type on it? You have to press really lightly on caps lock. Um. Okay, but ghetto ass double movement. Nah, it works though. It depends on the actuation of your keyboard, also though. If you have like a really like stiff keyboard with like hard keys, like it's not gonna work. That's why the Apex Pro is like really good. It said that's cheating. Yeah, you're smoking something if you think that's cheating. It's called working smarter, bro. It is a little sketchy how he does this. Now, it is not against Fortnite rules whatsoever. Now, Fortnite themselves actually said something about this. So here, one person on Reddit asked, there are news concerning the whole double movement situation. Do you think we'll hear back from you sooner rather than later on that front about what is or isn't allowed or potentially even implementing save the world movement in Fortnite Battle Royale? Now, honestly, I have no clue what the save the world movement is. So if you guys know, just make sure to drop a comment down below and let me know but yeah epic games themselves responded we're talking about it thanks for checking in so they're definitely aware of the situation and they know what's going on it is definitely gonna be very interesting to see what they say about this do you consider this cheating or not because they definitely does as you can see on twitter he says if you use tape for double movement you are a cheater the only reason it works is because there are no lands i'm pretty sure it is banned in csgo so right here is a better picture of what boga is basically doing now this is not Boga's exact setup, it is someone else's, but it is the same idea. You click one button and it clicks two buttons for you, which allows you to have double movement. Some people say that Boga is gonna get banned. Now honestly myself, I don't see him getting banned at all. As I mentioned, this is not against epic rules whatsoever. Now yes, they might make this a rule and ban this in the future, but as of for now, it is not a rule. If they don't allow players to do this, then obviously Boga will stop doing it and he will be fine. But for those who say that he will get banned well that is just not true again what do you think is this cheating or not personally i don't think it is cheating as long as you're not using macros or anything like that i would not consider cheating but okay boys that is gonna be the end of this video hope you did enjoy of course if you did drop a like right now on this video or once again your candy will turn into broccoli and of course subscribe with notifications on so you never miss an upload on the channel and here you go don't forget to use code kingcast-yt in the item shop the codes do reset every 14 days so it is very likely that your code did reset and don't forget to follow my twitch it is autoclick yt i hope you did enjoy this video but for now peace out